I'm gonna be showing you how you can make this. We could go band for band. Fuck that. We can go M for M. I got inspired to make this video from Antonio, so make sure you guys go follow him on YouTube. He did an After Effects. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do it inside of Premiere. Before we hop into the video, if you guys are looking to level up your edits, go check out my website. We have a ton of editing packs on there. We just released our brand new titles pack that contains over 40 plus fully customizable titles for your music videos. But let's hop right into this video. So inside of Premiere Pro here, you guys can see we have the effect. Fuck that. We can go M for M. So we're going to create a brand new sequence here and we're going to recreate this effect from scratch. So the music video we're going to be doing it on is the band for band music video here. You guys are probably going to be doing it on your music video. What I recommend you look for is six shots of the artist's face close up and I'm going to show you guys how I get those on this clip here just in case you're going to be doing this on some other music video footage. So you want to go up to scene edit detection and then you're going to hit these two options here and then hit analyze. Once that happens, you'll have this entire bin here of the entire music video cut up. And what you want to do is then click on a clip where you think you see his face. And then if you see a part you want, like this part right here, you want to come down and hit the little camera button. And then you want to export the screenshot somewhere on your computer. So you want to do that six times. Or if you already have your own music video footage, just take six screenshots of your artist's face where he's looking directly at the camera. All right, guys. So I have my six screenshots right here, as we can see. And they're not all directly center in the middle. We're going to do that later on. But what you want to do next is you want to drag them all inside of Premiere Pro here, just like so. Now that we have all six of them inside of here, what we want to do next is we want to come into our project, right click, go under new item and we're going to create a color map. We're going to hit OK and then pick any color you want. Just make sure it's nice and bright. I'm going to go with a red and then I'm going to drag and drop that in the timeline on top of our clips here. Next, I'm going to go into effects here and I'm going to drag and drop crop onto the color mat and then we're going to go into effect controls and we're going to crop it so it becomes a red square. So something that looks just like this. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and turn down the opacity like so. And now we're going to be using this as a reference to put his head exactly in the middle every single time. So clicking on the first clip, we're going to go click on motion and then we're going to increase the scale by turning this up and we're going to place him directly in the center there and then moving on to the next one we're going to be doing the exact same thing and then just doing it for each individual clip all right and now that we have that done out of the way you guys can see we have something just like this what you want to do next is then delete the red square and then we're going to drag all of these up at least one block just like so and then we're going to extend them so they all come to the end like this you guys can see there's six frames each i recommend cutting at least one frame off of each of them like i'm doing here and then we'll add an extra frame at the end there i'll have the free shutter sound effect linked below in the description for you guys to download just dragging and dropping that in i'm going to crop to this very first one here crop the end and we're going to put that right here now the shutter sound effect is really fast so what we're going to do to match that is change the length of our clips right where the next one starts let's move that one there one let's move it there this one, let's move it there. All right, let's go for something like that. So we'll have a look just like this. It's way better, way faster. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click on each of them and nest them. You guys will see why we're gonna be doing this in a second. Just make sure you do this to every single clip. All right, and now that they're nested, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of them. We're gonna go into effects here and we're gonna search up transform. We're gonna drag and drop on the transform effect right here under distort on all of them here. Now that we have that on, we're gonna click on the very first clip. We're gonna set a position keyframe at the very beginning. So once we have the keyframe at the very beginning, we're gonna to go to our position here and set it at the very top, just like that. And then we're going to go over one frame and we're going to bring it down just like so. You guys can see we get a very fast going down transition. Let's move this over one more. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the shutter angle up to at least 100. You guys can see we get that going down transition. If it's a little bit too slow for you, you can move it back down like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press Control C. and We're going to highlight all of these and press Control Alt V. We're going to paste the transform on those. You guys can see we get the exact same shutter effect on all of these here. If you do want to extend it, all you have to do is move the keyframe over one on each of them here, and you'll get something just like this. Totally up to you on how you guys want to have it. Now to spice this up a little bit more, we're going to be using my Whooshes and Risers sound design pack that's on my website, alongside the titles pack and everything else that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. We're going to open up the Whooshes and Risers pack here, and we're going to go over to Risers first, and I'm going to drag and drop Riser 1 in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to the point where it peaks at the very end right here and then i'm going to cut the beginning part off so it just starts when the transition starts and we're going to have it fade in just like so we get a little nice riser just like that and now we're going to go back into the main part of the pack and then we're going to open up whooshes and we're going to go into fast here i'm going to drag and drop this one in here and i'm going to have it happen just when this riser ends perfect and then let's put another whoosh at the very beginning here i'm going to go with this random 152 right here and let's have it go like this looking great guys i think that's perfect if you want to add some film burns or flash transitions that's totally up to you guys here but i think this is perfect if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and check out my editing packs link below as well i'm going to be uploading every single day for the entire month of june so make sure you guys subscribe